Welcome back to the Card Market channel with another video. Here with Keanu today to talk about what happened at the weekend at the North American Championship. A uh, little bit ridiculous. It was a wild one, it was a wild one. It's very right. strange, a bunch of crazy things happened. People pulling fire alarms and setting sprinklers off. Uh, People good, were misplaying left and right. Yeah, good players match. just yeah. actually dropping, like going, yeah, day one, uh, X3, you know, just uh, didn't really yeah. bring it this format, but uh, it's insane. But uh, if you guys are looking forward to more of this meta analysis when the big events are on, do not forget to like and subscribe and ding the notification bell and we will keep on making stuff like this. Okay, so anyway, we will move straight on into the top five decks. Yes. Uh, number five, a little bit of a cop out. I'm not gonna uh, lie about this one. What we're, is, what we're are you this? Number five, yeah. We're dubbing this one everything else. Everything else is pretty fun. So all of the stuff that didn't make it into the top four uh, decks, which there was actually quite a lot. There was a lot. I think there was like 19 different decks in top 64. Or yeah, so it was a uh, very, very varied uh, format, surprisingly. Um, but there was a kind of consistent trend in the top 16, which was, we were yeah. able to see. Okay. Um, so the decks that didn't quite make it into the top four were some form of uh, Dragon Link. Like even all everything with Brave. I think if you yeah. like play Dragon Link these days, you just kind of mix it with, uh, with Brave. Brave goes into everything. Like at this point, people are calling things Brave and it's like, yeah, whatever, yeah, fine. It's, like, like, it's expected. In every combo deck pretty much because like it's just like advantage, give me four Protect cards. my combo, yeah. yeah so so uh, Brave good. obviously saw some representation in a lot of different decks, but it's unfair to even call it like its own deck because nobody just plays no, the no, Brave stuff. It's splashable, it goes into uh, things. Yeah. Um, but the Dragon Link saw your favorite deck. Yeah, my favorite deck, yes. Uh, that, I think they were like two in top. 16 or top something, 8, I'm not sure. Something like that, but yes. there was, I definitely remember there being at least two. Yeah, uh, we also saw a lot of uh, Brave Dragon Link on Feature Match. Nice. Uh, two of them misplayed uh, very, very bad, but... Uh, Where is Lanatus when we need it? Yeah, uh, yeah, people screaming, Dragon Link will never yeah. be popular again. Speaking of Despia, like, oh, where was it? Where Despia was it? had two uh, decks that made it. The yeah, concept. right, right. That's uh, and they were both just Despia branded, they didn't have anything really special with them as far as I'm aware. I think I saw one uh, with Splash, a little bit of, of uh, the Predoplan stuff. Uh, yeah, Copium. So. Like, the, the Predator Plan stuff is just not good. Like, whatever you... Yeah, Predator Practice is great, but, like... I mean, like, uh, I, I like it. Uh, like, we saw something similar to uh, at our Nats at uh, Germany. Yeah. Like, I think this deck was uh, pretty cool, but, um, yeah, I think it just, in the end, it just loses to the same. It loses to D-Barrier, loses to, like, an anti-spell yeah. and everything else. Just so. to clarify. Yeah. <laughs> and then just, like, yeah, and even then set up, like, your uh, anti-spell and what you're gonna do. Right. Um, yeah. Another deck that you actually play a fair bit is the punk synchro kind of kitchen sink stuff. Right. And that also saw a small bit of representation. Yeah, I think that, there event. was a lot actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think when we looked at the top tables during the tournament, there was a lot on the top tables, uh, punk adventure. I mean, it's just a really, really well-rounded deck. I think you can have- It's good. It, it yeah. sits in wherever. It doesn't necessarily need to like, it doesn't need anything to kind of like perform exceptionally well, but yeah. it just exists and it's very consistent in some ways, but also- just, it's, a, it's a good deck for yeah. topping. It's yeah, a it's a good deck, deck to topping. at least top. Maybe yes. you won't take a, uh, like a YCS or a championship with it, but you'll definitely get into like the 64 yeah, right. if you know the pilot. Yeah. So moving on to the next deck, uh, something that got a massive pair of boost after uh, yeah. the, was it Duels of the Deep or whatever it's called? Uh, I think Duels from, from the Deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Side set that got released while the fish. Uh, Marinces is doing well. It's actually doing it's really good. I think I just call it water salad. Yeah. Uh, because like it just feels kind of the same. I don't even really know. Um, but yeah, it's just, like you just run a lot of hand traps or a lot of ha uh, tech cards. You have a one card combo starter, and yeah. uh, it's said that your board is decent. I think you could, you end on the an unaffected link monster in the extra monster zone, and then My even favorite. your even your like you can have you have this imperm like trap. I think it's called Marinces Wave. Which uh, is basically all one area. Moves this wave is gross. And then it protects all your cards, which is pretty crazy. All cards, is it? Not just the specific types. No, it's all it's, your cards. I think it's all cards or like all Marinces cards. All oh, right, okay. So uh, it's, it's still really, really like it, that's still really, really strong. And I feel like people haven't really paid enough attention to Marinces. Oh, or definitely like, not. They haven't maybe broken it yet. Did you fact, read any new of the Marinces cards? <laughs> I've read some of them, and like yeah. I just went ew, and then kind of moved yeah, away from yeah, them. It's like I don't want to play the the, the fish. Like girl deck, I was like, yeah. yeah. I got shafted at locals once. And <laughs> since then, I just read every, I know every card. It's like I have to learn every single Marinces yeah, card. Right. It's the only way I'm gonna get those OTS packs anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Marinces is actually coming in and actually top four. That's like, it's yeah. really good. It shows yeah. what a small bit of support and a confined set can really bring. Yes. Um, number three, everybody's favorite stun oh deck, Fluandere. We stop it already. Everybody's favorite. So Fluandere has been around since Birth of Destiny and 
I remember people like heralding being like, this is the end of Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, we will never special summon again. And <laughs> we never don't have to. We don't <laughs> have to anymore. <laughs> That's the thing is like it took a while for Fluander to kind of like get to the point where it was like solid and people to kind of figure out a way to kind of yeah. not break the format with it, but definitely show up in force. Yes, I think like it just needed a good pilot and also like yeah. a good list. I think it's like very standard now that you play seven parts. It's like uh, three duality, one extravagance and three uh, yeah. strategy. I think at least that's what I would run if I just yeah, played I mean, them, the, the birds. You want that dig, you want to dig deeper into the deck, maybe get the sure. Rabina and the extrav. Even though the card demanders are nice, you don't necessarily need it. Cause yeah, you right. Like, and Fluanda just searches everything itself. And on the what's the thing with Fluanda is like, it just, there are two scenarios. Like the first one is they have oh, yeah. everything, they have Shifter yeah, and yeah. Uh, whatever it's called, the, the Hoppy's Featherstorm and everything, yeah, yeah, like which yeah. is crazy. Everything all Second once. thing is, um, oh, yeah, uh, pass. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. like, um, okay. Uh, like, that is one the problem, between. like with Fluanda, you're dead right, is that it is either, it's not hyper consistent. And that's why it runs the consistency cards, because yeah. it can get rid of its extra deck. It if, doesn't need if it. If it would it would be like that consistent, it would be like the best thing. Oh yeah, I'm, absolutely. I'm just you, yeah. But like, if you don't open up Rabina, you kind of get screwed a little. Uh, you do, yeah. You also kind of need to ensure that your Rubina is protected, it doesn't get ashed, because if your Rubina gets ashed, then you end up in a scenario where you're yep. also like, well, I just got this small little robin on the board, what yeah. am I meant to do? Yeah, I mean, but then you, oh no, that doesn't even like, work. Like, you have to control a wind and Rubina is a water. <sighs> yeah, yeah. You can't even, like, set Featherstone, oh yeah, my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it, it really is kind of like, it's not the most hyper consistent deck, but it's still, it what, when they do get it, it's acceptable. Yeah, it's really good. Like it's very rich. every time I play against Flanderies, it just feels so unfair. Like I don't know, like all these win conditions, like even just dropping Shifter on like my Shifter is insane. The fact that like, Shifter just like Shifter usually kind of like you know it screws you up a little bit, but yeah. also can screw up your opponent a little bit, I and like it so just it, it just does nothing. Yeah. I mean, Flu Wander genuinely might see play next format. I think so too. Considering tier yeah. elements, like I mean, you just drop the Shifter, and yep. then what's tier elements gonna do? Nothing, can't yeah. pro like you can't prosper if you don't send everything to the graveyard. Yeah. So yeah. I think like it will be definitely also like a good strategy. I think so. I think. We're going to see a lot more shifter as well. The price of shifter is starting to go up in car park, I think. Mm -hmm. I just bought three, so I, yeah. You Ooh, good on that? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm nice. Uh, shifter and splice. Don't don't knock the, it. It is nice. I, I tested it. It's pretty good. Yeah. But I, uh, I'm waiting on that uh, spicy reprint in the structure deck. Oh, yes. We'll see if we get that. I, have, I hope so. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the actual finals. Uh, we had two Scar decks yep. that we've seen quite a few times pop back up, especially since Hartford. Uh, second place, Sky, Sky Striker. Striker. I don't, as far as I'm aware, there wasn't anything necessarily spicy about this Sky Striker. I think it was just uh, Mystic Mind Control. I mean, <sighs> so like we made a video a while back talking about like, oh, Hartford and how Mystic Mind and Floodgates were an issue. And I think we're still seeing that so like now. Oh, sure. The fact that Mystic, people have really kind of copped onto the idea that, oh my God, Mystic Mind is stupid. Mystic Mind, yeah. if you can search it and like you only need to poke with like one thing, it's stupid for shutting down your opponent. It's also just stupid, like sitting there until you draw your out. And if your opponent doesn't main deck, like, you know, Spell and Trap Hate, or you can't pop it because, you know, you've got like, uh, what, Field Barrier up or something like that, I or you can get extra copies of Mystic Mind through Demise of the Land, you just, you can't really do anything. Yeah. Just because this card exists, when I play like my Brave decks, I yeah. always like keep the Draco back. Just because like yeah. when my opponent minds me, I have the out. Yeah, just because exactly. like I yeah, wanna, yeah. wanna, wanna make sure that I just don't lose to this card. But I have to say, we can't take away too much from the player because Ryan Yu is a well, very no, well he is, player. He's, he's a very, very, very good player. Yeah, very, very good player. I mean, yep. uh, I'm pretty sure he won Hartford, right? This is. This uh, no, one. there was another one. Okay, right. But, yeah, another, uh, but another, Ryan another. Yu is just very, yeah, very, sure. like, and especially in the uh, North American scene, like he's very not well known player, very, very good. Also not to very knock young. anybody, but if like, you know, you, you are playing Sky Striker and you are playing Mystic Mind, there's going to be people who hate you, but yep. it's not taking away from your skill factor at all. It, yeah. is, it is a hard deck to pilot. It is. Exceptionally well. Sure. Has a very high skill ceiling. Um, and I think it was the pretty much the only one in like top 16 with Sky Striker. So I think I this is something... I think it was the only Sky Striker in top yeah. 16 as well. Which goes to show that it's not... Even though it's a very oppressive deck and very powerful in... You need to have a good pilot. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you need to have a good yep, Sky Striker yep. pilot. And I think like Ryan Yu was the man for yeah, this. Absolutely. Yeah, that, um, so. Well deserved. Which brings us to our number one. Uh, Sword Soul, Sword Soul by Tenny. all things. Yep. Um, um, it's been a long time. I think like since October last year. Yeah. Yeah, 21. it's been a while. Um, we haven't seen too much Sword Soul topping anything. I think they topped uh, like a lot. Like even in top cut, there were some Sword Soul players, but never like never, uh, never the top of like the cream of the crop. Yeah. But Sword right. Soul definitely making itself known and showing up to events, yeah. but not kind of 
clinch getting taken I think like going home as long it. as Konami does not decide to like maybe like limit or semi limit one of the consistency cards or so so I think it will be always a good deck because like I mean the, yeah it, it's very powerful uh, yeah. and I think that the consistency is the problem because you know if you go to Shijo you just search whatever you're missing right. and Moe giving you that draw is also insane Emergence at 3 Emergence at 3 is ridiculous you know what I mean so, yep. uh, Emergence can also search anywhere right if you have the a synchro, synchro on the field yep. which is also crazy I mean they got rid of Protoss for a reason uh, but you that know was insane. yeah yeah, it, this was not good for the game. Yeah, so that was kind of like the top five, um, which is insane because like, you know it was kind of different than what we were expecting. Yeah, because like you also have to remind yourself that this is our meta right now. It's just or like was we're the way very wide. We are very wide. Nineteen decks in the top sixty-four is very very good. Yeah. Um, but ultimately as well, we saw the demise of a lot of decks that people have been playing for a while. And so yeah, but stuff, yeah. stuff like, uh, nobody, like, people are playing Psylock, but it's not doing it anymore. Yeah, everyone, like, prepared Everybody's prepared for it. For it. Everybody yeah, right. knows how to stop Psylock now. Okay, keep my, uh, like, piece of removal to shotgun in standby yeah. phase to, uh, like, like imperm right. uh, to Drop stop uh, that Halkify Rex, and then what we yeah. to do. Yes. You know, it, it's stuff like that. It, everybody's prepared for uh, Psylock, but mine, Nobody wants to run Spell and Trap Hate in their main because really, it sucks. No. It sucks if you don't like yeah. have to use it. Like, I think like, you can argue that you play Cosmic or at least like <sighs> because like it also hits Scythe. If, if you want to play this, but yeah, uh, yeah. kind of like I don't know. My rhetoric is if you're looking for your 40th card, play one Harvest Spell or something. Yeah, maybe. It's yeah. Just, so that way, if you do get mined and your opponent is just like waiting for you to kind of like die and like maybe they have like a back row, mm. they're playing Strike or something, yes. just wait until you draw your Harpies and then drop it on them. Yeah. You know? Sometimes they'll be having to get that things after burn or anything. Uh, the spells? Yes. No, there's no nothing which. Oh, well, then yeah, there you go. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for your forty card main harpies, it's, it's lovely. cosmic yeah. or twin. I think everything is fine. But um, also one thing, like I really liked, there was this one guy. I think he came until top sixteen or top thirty-two. Yeah. Who just played tri brigade. <laughs> Like just pure driver like, No, no. I think uh, Lurlus. Oh, tri yeah, it was trial Lurlus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but but he told. I think also like in the interview. He got top sixteen. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And I like that because like he just told the interview he played this deck for forever. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's really nice to see that this is out now. It is nice to see. Like I mean, we're in a format where it's diverse and nobody plays Lancia anymore. Yeah, nobody's on Lancia, so Tri Brigade really kind of like doesn't have to worry about getting stopped on their job by Lancia. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is all going to change. Once Prayer of the Elements comes out, oh, yeah. this isn't even going to matter because everything that's going to be oppressive is just going to be splicing trail elements. And I think like there are some decks which maybe can compete, but they will be, in my opinion, just be some very nice like rogue picks. I think yeah. like rogue uh, or anti meta. Yeah, like, I think like as I said, like Sorcerer will be like you can play this for sure. Uh, I think even Despia is fine. Like I don't think that Spy can play through Emergate and with a set Brandon Red. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Um, and like also like all this punk brave decks, I think they they can they can at least compete. Yeah, they so, can compete. Yeah. Uh, but we are starting to look towards a yeah. uh, a very very heavily like uh, tier one or tier zero esque format Maybe, where yeah. we're, we're going to have these decks dominate. Yeah, I think like when we look at the the, the event, I think it was like a nice conclusion to to, to, the, to, to the, the current format. format. Yeah. I think so too. I think it was nice to actually have a wide variety of decks yep. show up. So, if you guys like this kind of meta analysis and are looking forward to having more of this, please let us know. And we might do one for Prayer of the Elements coming out in August and we will just see just how influential this set's gonna be. But don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like the content, ding the notification bell, and we will all see you next time. Peace.